the Leatherwood Art series of scopes is a little different from most. The art scope can automatically compensate for the trajectory of your bullet without any math on your part. Firing a crossbow? That works just the same. And you don't need to buy any special tape, batteries, or rangefinders to make it work. To learn more about how the automatic ranging telescope uses a specially designed cam to mechanically compensate for drop, check out our guides on setting up and using the different art scopes. Once you've become a little more familiar with the art scope, you may be wondering how to push the functionality a little further. Being able to swap between manual and automatic mode is a useful technique for adapting to various shooting scenarios with the art scope. If you are shooting targets of known dimension at unknown distance, automatic mode is the setting for you. In automatic mode, the art scope's magnification setting and the trajectory cam move together. The magnification setting you are using directly affects the distance that the trajectory cam is compensating for. When you are engaging a target, or targets, of known dimension at unknown distance. This could be a hunting scenario, where you are sitting in your tree stand and you know that the average shoulder height of the bucks in your area is 36 inches. Or, this could be a target shooting scenario, where you are shooting a course of fire with several 18-inch steel circles at various distances. By using the frame aim shoot technique, we do not need to know the distance to the target. By properly framing the known dimension within our reticle, we tell the trajectory cam the distance to the target using optical relationships in the scope. This is only possible when using automatic mode. You might come across a scenario where you'd want to magnify to a different degree than you would normally get when framing in automatic mode. This could be when initially zeroing at 200 yards for the M1000 Pro, or 300 meters with the M1200 XLR, or when shooting targets at known distances. For scenarios like this, we'll explore manual mode. For an example, Let's say we're zeroing the M1000 Pro at 200 yards. In automatic mode, we would need to keep the M1000 Pro at 2 power so that the trajectory cam does not add any external elevation or dope the scope for a farther distance. What if it was foggy or raining hard that day and you were having difficulty seeing your impacts at 2 power? In manual mode, you can set the magnification independent of the trajectory cam distance. Entering manual mode is a simple process. First, loosen the screw on the thumb tab of the range ring zoom ring. Next, pull the zoom ring back towards the eyepiece until the index pins are clear. Now, the art scope is in manual mode. The zoom ring should now turn without moving the cam. To change magnification in manual mode, simply turn the zoom ring until the desired magnification setting on the range ring zoom ring lines up with the eyepiece indicator arrow. In manual mode, Operating the art scope becomes a simple matter of turning the cam to a desired distance and magnifying your sight picture as you see fit. Manually setting the cam distance is quite simple. We will use the eyepiece indicator arrow as a reference for the tick marks on the calibration ring. The calibration ring has tick marks that index from 200 to 1,000 yards on the M1000 Pro, or 300 to 1,200 meters on the M1200 XLR, and 
20 to 80 yards on the ART crossbow scope. These are the same tick marks that are used in setting the caliber on the cam. The tick marks on the calibration ring also serve as the distance indicator for the cam. The cam distance can be manually set by lining up the eyepiece indicator arrow to the appropriate distance on the calibration ring. M1000 Pro with the power set at 10 and the cam set at 200 yards. Or the power set at 8 and the cam set at 500 yards. The M1200 XLR with the power set at 24 and the cam set to 600 meters. Or the power set at 6 and the cam set to 1200 meters. In a nutshell, for manual mode, you set the cam to the distance you are shooting and your magnification as desired. Let's say you are shooting at a new range with drastically different atmospheric conditions than your home range. You're shooting a target at 500 yards and you see that your bullets are impacting low. You can adjust the bullet impact higher by moving the cam distance from 500 to 510 or 520 yards. Similarly, if you're shooting at the 500 yard target and your bullet impacts are going high, you can adjust the cam distance down to 480 or 490. The art scope has two modes of operation, automatic and manual mode. If you are shooting targets at unknown distances using the fast technique, you need to operate in automatic mode. If you are shooting targets at known distances, manual mode may provide you with more flexibility with regards to your sight picture. Now that you've got a better handle on your art scope, it's time to take this to the range and practice before you go out hunting. To find out other art techniques to try at the range or in the field, check out our fast guide or take a shot at our 600 yard challenge. Good luck and good hunting. Perfect, going to the ram. Perfect, going to the hanging man. Perfect! Oh, man. <laughs>